doing? So we had a change of plan. Talked to one of the guys down there with the pangas. A boat, it's called a panga. Uh, they're basically fishing guides. And uh, we moved from uh, Ensenada de Mortes and we're going to uh, Bahi, uh, ba Baja de la Ventana. It's not La Ventana, the town is this way. It's over that way. And we're actually going to go around the point. So we're going to be in between La Ventana and uh, Ensenada de Mortes, where we just came from, where we were fishing this morning. Saw a rooster fish there and saw some others, but they were a little farther out. Here, where we're going, is actually where all the guys in the boats come and fish the shoreline uh, from the waterside because there's tons of rooster, mahi mahi, tuna, everything's come right into the shoreline. So, a better chance of catching something. Oops, a better chance of catching something a little bigger, hopefully. Uh, we'll see what happens. Anyways, um, that's the plan. So, uh, this road is rutted, <laughs> it's a bumpy road. Huh. Woo. Anyways, we're gonna keep going and uh, we'll show you when we get there. Well, this ain't that smooth. It's, it's so, road is so rutted. I almost wonder if I have a flat tire. Jesus, it's so rutted. It's crazy. Hold on, let's see. Hopefully we don't have a flat tire. I think the road's just really rutted, that's all. Look good on this side. Look good on that side. No flat tire. It's just really rutted road. Just bumpy as hell. So, anyways, huh? You don't like bumpy roads, do you, Wanagi? Wanagi doesn't like. Wanagi doesn't like bumpy roads. But we'll keep going. Cool. Look at a lighthouse. It's a huge one. It's pretty cool. Hopefully, we'll be able to. Find a place to stay out here, camp, and uh, get into some fish out here. Excuse the holy windstorm! Oh my god! Anyways, it is blowing hard. Look at that lighthouse. How cool is that? It's wild. Here, this is rough water. This wind is killer today. There's no way. We would be able to fish here. We could go around the point though, down there. Maybe fish. We'll see. I think there's camping down there, so we're gonna take a walk down the beach and uh, check it out. All right, let's do it. Pretty amazing, look at that. Oh yeah, there'll be roosters in here in the morning. See, look at this. That big old puffer fish with those spines. Crazy, they're everywhere on this beach. I mean, all the way down since we've been walking. Look, there's another. They're everywhere. They must just get blown out by the waves or something, I guess. They're crazy. Puffer fish. You gotta be careful where you walk. You wanna step on one of them. Look, there's another. I mean, they're literally every few feet there's one. Crazy. That's a lighthouse there. That's about probably 75 feet, 100 feet at least. Pretty cool. Like a big candy cane, huh? Look at how big it is compared to Wanagi. Go way up there. It'd be cool if you could go up in it, but anyways. So this is Punta La Ventana. I'm sorry about the wind noise, it's just how it is, but holy moly, it's blowing at least 20, 25. And it goes all the way around there and all the way around the corner over there is to Ensenada des Mortes, where we were just came from and camped last night. But this whole section, look at the dark water, the trench, the dark water is deep water. It comes right up to this part here. So that means all the big sailfish, game fish, you could catch anything off of here. Huge fish, no problem. So we're gonna have a good time here. I think we're gonna camp probably right here. There's a palapa down there we could camp at and just walk the beach, I guess. And maybe we'll do that, I don't know. Uh, maybe tonight. Palapa would be nice because then there's a bunch of shade and stuff. But uh, 
Yeah, and then parking here. If we're camped here, we'll probably have other people on us, but that's okay. Hey, buddy. <laughs> With Nagi and me having fun by the sea. There's a few people out here, tourists, not overnighters, but uh, pretty cool. Well, <laughs> there's a reason why this is considered, La Ventana is considered the kite boarding, one of the kite boarding, Las Brillas and La Ventana are kite boarding capitals of uh, Baja, basically. I mean, La Ventana is over there on that far side across the bay here, and you can just see the white caps out here on the water. It's just howling wind. Uh, this is the point, though. Uh, Mexico mainland's way across over there, and this is just open water here in the Sea of Cortez. That's an island out there that's really good fishing, but this whole coastline here, you can see the color change. It's really dark, dark blue over there, and then this nice green color is nice sand flat that comes in here, but uh, that's why there's so many good fish that come in here. You can catch anything off of this beach. Uh, you can catch Dorado, which is Mahi Mahi, catch sailfish, you can catch uh, marlin, you can catch uh, roosterfish, wahoo, uh, just about anything will be coming in off of this to catch the game fish and when the, you know, obviously when it's not howling wind like this. Uh, so maybe I think it's either today is uh, Friday, tomorrow Saturday, it looks like tomorrow it's going to be a little bit of wind, not as bad as today. Today's uh, 2025 and then uh, Sunday or Monday I think is uh, going to mellow out. There's still wind here every afternoon but in the morning it shouldn't be as bad and I should be at, at least able to cast and it won't be like you, the water will be a lot clearer. The reason why it's nice emerald green now but you'll actually be able to see to the bottom uh, near the shoreline because there won't be as much chop and so it's really stirring up the bottom here that's why it's so hard to see through it but it's still beautiful here uh crazy and guess where we're sitting we're sitting under the lighthouse check it out it goes way up there about 100 feet above my head pretty cool sitting next to a big candy cane look at that huh big candy cane He's kicking in the shade. Got vultures. Look at this. They're gonna eat Wanagi, seeing if she's edible. So I try to try the super view because I was I didn't know I wasn't on the widest, but look at that lighthouse up there. It goes way up there. Way up there, about a hundred feet above our head. It's like just a big candy cane. And look at this. Can you see these birds? Probably need a switch. See the, all the vultures just flying in the thermals right above me here. They're pretty, about maybe 100 feet up, 75 feet up, but all just right back there. It's pretty cool. Just hanging out like a kite, flying like a kite. Hey, how's it going? So we're inside for now. Uh, we're we got our camper all set up. Uh, really didn't kind of unhook it from the truck. It, it's up, but it's right there. I didn't undo the chains or anything. Uh, we had to dig a hole on this side so the wheel would drop down because we we're kind of the way the road is, is at an angle. So, but we're pretty level. It's uh, pretty nice, but you can see, look how windy it is. I just got this cracked open, this open, and this backside. The wind's coming from this way at us. Uh, the ocean you can see just is tumultuous out there. It's blowing hard and uh, so we don't want a bunch of sand coming in. I'm sure we're getting a little bit of dust and stuff. It's just inevitable. Uh, but uh, we got minimal and it's nice. It's cool in here. Wanagi's comfortable. Look at her. She got her little bed. She's sleeping. She's hanging out. We got her some water and some food. I think I'm going to just uh, have lunch and uh, have a, a soda water and lime and just relax and hang out and uh, there's no fishing today it's just here it's just too windy maybe by this evening we might get a calm uh, which would be awesome maybe we could go throw some some flies out just before dark if not probably in the morning uh, it's probably gonna be windy again tomorrow but at least in the morning maybe we might be able to do a little bit of uh, casting if the wind hasn't come up too strong 
So fingers crossed, maybe we'll be able to get on a fish tomorrow. I'm pretty wind blown right now. Uh, just want to relax and take it easy. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's beautiful. We got a beautiful view. Look all the way around. I got the the dark uh, covers. They're like uh, sunscreen, kind of like sunglasses, basically. And then you can see this one's open, and this one's open to get us some airflow. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice and comfy in here. We're out of the sun, and uh, yeah, yeah, just gonna hang out. All right, peace out. So I thought I'd share my breakfast this morning. We got chorizo, which is a Mexican kind of sausage thing, uh, made up of a bunch of sausage and different spices. And then I got onions in there grilling, ha fresh jalapeno grilling, some tomatoes. We're gonna put some cilantro on the end. Then I got two tortillas with some cheddar cheese. Yeah, buddy! That's what we're doing. We went and fished this morning, no luck, but still had fun. It's nice to be out there when Nagi had a good time. So we're gonna throw our eggs in there and uh, get to eating breakfast, but just thought I'd share that with you, and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Hold on one sec. Little egg in there. Uno mas huevos rancheros. Kind of, not really, a little bit. Oh yeah, there you go. Got the eggs in there them around, all that chorizo mixed in, oh yeah, it's got a lot of grease in there, which is good, didn't even need to add anything to the pan, kind of flattened out, let her cook, yeah buddy, finishing up here, we got our tortillas of cheddar, some Tapatio hot sauce on there, some cilantro. This is about done. Yeah. Just throw some of that in there. It'll help that cheese kind of get soft and melted. Oh yeah, look at those. Little breakfast tacos. Might be a little full, but that's all right. <clears throat> we like them overstuffed. There we go. How's that look, folks? <laughs> Breakfast champions. All right, we're gonna get eaten. <laughs>